All right, hey guys. Um, I wanted to make a, a video. I've seen a lot of Altoid tin survival kits, stuff like that. Just wanted to share uh, with you what what I put together. Um, right here, I have a pouch. Um, just a, a Velcro pouch. Has a little bell loop on the back. I carry this on my belt um, when I'm outdoors, stuff like that, or on my pack, hooked to it. So some Velcro right there um, in this little side pocket little uh, mini big pen. I've actually used this to uh, ride on like um, hunting licenses, uh, different things like that, or if you're fishing uh, you can write down what they're biting on so next time you go to the, the lake you uh, you kinda know. Um, right there we have a split ring. Just slid it over there. never know what you could use that for but hey. Um, book of matches. Hooters. Keep your morale high I guess. <laughs> Put good thoughts in your head. Whatever. Um, so, oh, and then in the back here, I have a, about a one and a half foot piece of, um, 550 paracord. Um, you know, it's short length, but you can use this stuff for all sorts of stuff, so. I have just a small length in there, and then I usually have probably, like, a 50 foot, um, bundle of it in my pack. Um, and then in the, in the kit here, I have the tin itself. Um. This one's green. I don't know. On the top, I have a wide piece of uh, duct tape, and under it, right there, you can see the outline is a uh, a razor blade. So that works pretty good. And then on the side here, I have a um, just a skinny a skinny piece all the way around the tin, and it ends right there. So, um, so we'll open this up. Um, Inside, you can see that the lid can be used as a signal mirror. Um, you know, it's not that great, but uh, that works. Um, right here, we just have some some light uh, lashing cord for uh, just small little things that you need to do around uh, where you are. Uh, maybe setting traps, all sorts of stuff. Iodized salt. You never know what you can use this stuff for, um, whether it's just putting on your food or any other sort of uses that you need salt for. Just a thin packet of salt. Um, works pretty good. Um, in here, if uh, those matches were to get maybe damp or something, uh, in here it's, it'll stay pretty dry inside this tin. It's not waterproof, but uh, it's water resistant, I guess they say. Resistant. Um, these are military uh, matches that are actually for damp climates so another book of matches never know how many you need um, right here if I can get it in there this is a real signal mirror oh and then there's there's a rubber band it's actually broken probably need to fix that but hey um, right here we have a signal mirror a, uh, a legit one um, with the little peephole and the whole bit and how how to use it and blah 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 so that's good to have. And then I have a uh, a one foot by one foot uh, square of tin foil right there. So good for boiling water, different different things. Here we have a little spool of dental floss. This can be used from uh, stitching yourself up to all sorts of stuff. You know, you can use this fishing line for small small fish, but anything traps again right there. Right here we have a small button com button compass. Um, this is actually a really really good one. It works pretty good. No bubbles, nothing like that. Um, I always have a couple compasses in my pack just in case one may may have um, got jostled around. Uh, maybe it's reading faulty. So I got that. In here we have um, some cotton balls that are soaked in Vaseline. Um, and then in the bottom there, there's some iodine pills, and that's why it's all yellow and stuff. They tend to do that. So, um, but there you go, some dry tinder, and it's in this little this little case, which actually is waterproof, so that's cool. Um, in here is uh, this is a chapstick tube that I filled with uh, different fishing uh, stuff. I got a couple. Uh, uh, safety pins. That's that's the word. Um, I have a needle, and then I have some some fishing line, some little hooks, some little sinkers, 
uh, all sorts of stuff in there. So that works pretty well. So there's that. Also inside here, I have a small pair of tweezers. Probably out of one of those little Swiss Army knives. I don't know where I got this, but that's what I'm going to make a good guess at. Um, over there, I have a cotton swab. Never know what that could be used for, so I'd rather be safe than sorry, or prepared than sorry in this case. Um, right there, I have uh, aspirin. There's four of them in there, just floating around. So dig those out so that they're not everywhere. Let's see. So yeah, there's four of those. Also, I have band-aids, you know, blah, blah, little cuts, prep pad, another prep pad, some big band-aids, some butterfly strips, and then just the tin itself. If you needed to um, cook like a small fish or something, you could do it in here. So, uh, show you the layout. There's all the stuff. Tin, uh, carrying case, 550 cord, salt, rubber band, um, tinder, tinder slash iodine, um, matches, dental floss, signal mirror, um, tin foil, your aspirin, and, uh, all the, uh, all the rest. And then, I'll usually carry a bandana with me, which is what you see in the background. So, that is my, uh, Altoid survival kit. I also have it's kind of a three-part kit what I keep. I keep a, uh, a kit inside my pack, which has more of my first aid stuff, but a little bit of um, a little bit of survival things like my, my flint steel and stuff like that that wouldn't fit in this. And then I have a thing that clips to my pack that's actually a waterproof uh, bag, and it has um, like a it has a um, emergency blanket, iodine tabs, matches, stuff like that that needs to kind of stay dry. And uh, it clips to the back of my pack just in case I were to get submerged in water. This gets wet. The one in my pack gets wet. That one's going to be my base um, stuff. You know, you got water. Uh, you're going to have a, a, a somewhat of a shelter. And then from there, you can you can make traps. You can make all sorts of stuff primitively. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment. Um, Post a, a video response showing your uh, Altoid survival kit if you want. But um, other than that, have a great day. Talk to you later.